We hobbits are very plain, quiet creatures. After all, adventure makes one late for dinner. However, what you haven't seen is how we behave during our June festivities. During the whole month of June, we gather in this big festival. And today I'm going to show you some dancing steps so you can participate on a proper hobbit ball. Come this way. Oh dear, you're taller than I thought. Anyways, my name is Dinara Hartfoot. May we begin? The very first thing you're going to learn is the stance. This is how you should be stepping. Women should gather their skirt and do a charming movement with their hips. After you learn this movement, move your hobbit feet. Men will do the same movement but with their hands on their back. There are many skirt movements. One-sided skirt movement represents the water, the flowing water, and both sides represent more dangers and fast waters. And this is how your boat flows when you're fishing. The movements may go faster or slower according to the song. We may also represent waterfalls or water splashing, the sea, the rain. It depends on the contest with the music that is playing. During the June festivals is when I braid my curls with Ribbon and Heather and oh how merry we eat until the, the food is gone! Typically, I would be wearing more decorated outfit, not this everyday clothing. And stepping is another dance move you should learn. Women would gather their skirt up to their knees and men should have their hands up, probably doing something with it, clapping or doing some twists. You may also play with your hair or with your hat if you're wearing any. But that of course when we're dancing separately. If we're dancing together, we may touch each other. Another hand movement that you should learn is this sewing motion. This represents dropping seeds on a field. And another motion is this one that represents women with baskets carrying the fruits or harvesting anything. And of course the twirl. You may hold your skirt or not, and this represents the wind. And of course, now that you learn, you may join all of them together to do a whole dance. And we may dance, just the women, just the men, men with women, children with grown-ups. It doesn't really matter, as long as you're dancing and having fun, this is what matters. And if you do want to dance with somebody, this is how you invite them. You kind of challenge them. Anyways, wouldn't it be brilliant if these dance moves were real? Well, they are. They are all Brazilian. Thank you very much.